nights. So it is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I thought I would share with a few things. Share a few things. Share with you guys a few things that I'm thankful for for the year 2015. Here we go. So the first thing that I am thankful for this year is you guys. The fact that you guys have gotten me to 66 subscribers when I seriously didn't even think I was going to get a list and the most. So the fact that you guys have me at 66 subscribers has blown me away and it made me ex has made me extremely happy. I'm constantly bra bragging about it with family members, friends, and every time I get a new subscriber, I'm just so much more happier. So I'm thankful for you guys because it's... It's just one of those things that make me happy. And your comments are another thing that makes me happy, too. So I thank you guys for not only subscribing and being a knight, but also for liking my videos or commenting on some of my videos that have been kind of heartfelt. Um, and that's usually when I'm having meltdowns or close to it. So the fact that you guys respond to that and... I'm extremely <clears throat> happy that so far I have not got any bad comments or any hate yet, which I'm kind of waiting because I have a feeling it's going to happen at some point, but the fact that it hasn't yet has made me extremely happy. Um, yeah, so my first thing, thing that I'm thankful for this year is you guys. I love you, Knights, so, so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. Still blows me away. The second thing that I am thankful for this year are my friends and family. Um, without them, I would probably not even be here. I see them as reasons for why I should still keep fighting every day and keep trying to win my battles. Um, my friends are people who I know can put a smile on my face when they, when I need it. I know that I can talk to about anything. And I love the fact that I have friends that are like that out of all of the people I've made friends with. I finally figured out which ones are my true friends and not those who are faking it. Um, and then when it comes to my family, which I should probably try to hang out with them more when they're here or when I'm with them instead of hiding or isolating, which has gotten better over the years. And I think if I asked them, they'd think that it got somewhat better, even just by a smidge, teeny smidge. But I'm thankful that they're there because I know that I can always depend on them when I need them. And I know that they're there for me, and that they love me and all that. And I may not show it to them, so if you guys are watching this, which I'll probably send you guys the links for it, I like to say thank you for being there for me and being such an amazing family, even though I may not show it and I may not hang out with you guys. So I love you. Number three, um, I'm thankful for my music because without it, it's, <laughs> life would be boring, just put it simple, life would be boring without my music. Um, funny story about my music, in my opinion, that's kind of funny. Ever since I was young, I've loved, loved country and refused to listen to anything else, absolutely refused, wouldn't even give it a shot. And then I started listening to a little bit of pop. I'm like, okay, this is not that bad. 
and then how I got into the more heavier music like Black Veil Brides and Blood on the Dance Floor, Falling in Reverse, Sleeping with Sirens, All Time Low, groups like that. Um, it's actually through Wattpad. I was reading a fan fiction and they kept mentioning BBB and I'm like, the hell is BBB? And it's like, it says Black Veil Brides. Okay, never heard their music before. And there's a music video also for a Blood on the Dance Floor song. It was for their uh, Bewitched song. It was their Bewitched music video. And I watched it. I was like, okay, that's cool. And then a couple of months later, I'm like, I actually want to listen to that song again. So I went on YouTube trying to find it. And because my memory is all jacked up and weird, um, it, I thought it was... I thought Bewitched from Blood on the Dance Floor was a Black Bill Bride song. So, in the search engine, I typed in Bewitched by Black Bill Brides. Um, it's not a Black Bill Bride song. <laughs> and all these different songs are showing up, and I'm like, this isn't the song I was looking for. I remember images from it. This isn't it. So I listened to them anyways. My very first... Black Veil Bride song was Knives and Pens, and then I listened to Legacy, and now I have all their albums, <laughs> and now I'm a big fan of them, and that was actually, believe it or not, last year, right before I turned 19. God, I feel old. Ugh. I guess 20 is still kind of young, huh? Anyways, um, but yeah, that's kind of my little music journey story. Um, I'm still discovering new music, like, um, last year in December, I was at my very first Blood on the Dance Floor concert ever, and, um, their opening acts got me into the, like, in my opinion, if a band or a group or some sort of musician is good in person, like watching them perform, then their recordings are going to be almost just as good. So, my first Blood on the Dance Floor concert, their opening acts was um, Social Repos, I think it's his name. Yeah. Um, and then it was Davy Suicide. And then. Whitney Payton, no, it was Sweet Ascent and then Whitney Payton, and that was in order before Blood on the Dance Floor actually came out. Um, I'm surprised I didn't lose my hearing by the end of the night, because I was literally front stage, front of the row, or at the very front near the stage, maybe two, three people away, right next to the speakers, literally right next, like, I could have sat on a speaker if I wanted to. That's how close I was to him. So, I was surprised I didn't lose my hearing by the end of the night. And that was also where I got my first signatures off of my signature jacket. If you watch my, um... 60 subscribers video. Four. The fourth thing that I am thankful for is photography. My photography that I'm pursuing by going to school for. Um, without it, I don't think I'd be able to create, well, not create, but express what I see as... A, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but I'm thankful for it because it's almost like another release. Um, my goal with my photography is that I want to show people the beauty of the world around us and show them, hey, yeah, we pass by this every day, or this is something you'll see every day. But to think, stop and think about it and think, hey, that's actually kind of cool. Um, I find it interesting that I created the name and then I came up with the goal later. And I'm like, huh kind of correspond. So my goal, pure photos. I want them to be as raw as possible. Little editing. And then my name for photography, for my photography is White Rose Photography. 
which I find very interesting because white is considered, you know, purity and clean and pure and all that. So there's the pure and raw photos right there. That's that part of that. And then rose is supposed to represent beauty. So my goal is to show beauty in the world by photos. So it kind of corresponded very well. And I like that because it's it wasn't even intentional either. So it just kind of happened. Um, yeah, it's, I'm thankful for it. It's a way for me to be creative. I don't think I'd be able to pursue a career where it's like a desk job. I have to be hands-on, and I love being creative. That's part of who I am, I guess. Yeah.